Hello everyone, welcome to day 10 of 30 Days of iPhone Programming. Now today I'll be learning about the battery status indicator. So this will let you um, get the current battery level of your device and also see whether or not it is plugged in. So go ahead and do Xcode and we're gonna say, we're gonna call this project battery status. And go ahead and create. Now we're gonna go into the viewcontroller.h, make two labels, uh, IB outlet UI label, we're gonna have battery level, and we're gonna have another one of battery status for whether or not it's plugged in. And save that. And go ahead and do the XIB file. We're gonna change this to 3.5, add in the two labels. Uh, we can make this a little bigger and center it and then you can do command D to duplicate and then we'll just connect the battery level to the top one and the battery status to the other one. Go ahead and do the viewcontroller.m. Now here we're going to do NS because I mean you could um, do it you could set the labels when you start the application you could set the status and also set the um, percentage but you, what you really want to do is be able to have it not just when it starts but every time it changes so for that we need to do NS notifications which will notify us um, so we can get the current status whenever it changes and we're going to do NS notification center um, default center add observer uh, self the selector will be at selector um, status changed name uh, UI device battery level did change notification and the object will be nil. Now we're going to do two, another one of those um, so one for the status change and then we're going to do UI device battery um, state did change. So first we did battery level and then now we're doing battery state and so that'll all lead to the same um, method. There's no real reason not to have them in the same uh, method. So go ahead and do status change. We're gonna do UI device. Actually, we can put this up here. Um, go ahead and do UI device, current device, um, set battery monitoring enabled, yes. And down here, we're gonna take this part. We're going to do our first label, battery level dot text will equal to an S string, um, string with format, at quotes, percent at, comma, UI device, current device, uh, battery level. Go ahead and close that out. We're going to make a, looks like a, ah, it's a float. So we can do, um, just do point F just to get, so usually by default um, floats go on for like six or so decimal places that'll make it so there's no decimal places so we don't really want that um, in our thing so we can do battery state for this and this should probably be a string I'm guessing so oh, it looks like it's not battery state okay there we go it's an ID um, and we need to change this to battery status and this code won't work on the simulator, so there's no point in me showing it to you, but if you try this code um, on your own, uh, you'll get the actual device battery level and the battery status. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.